Hi. Hola. Como has been? It is pretty hot, isn't it? It's th what does it say on the scoop earlier? 34? 35. 35? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, pretty hot post lockdown. I think lockdown's easing. Um, and with everyone sat at home and it's about to be out on the bikes in the glorious weather, we thought we'd do a little bit of a how to clean your bike video. Indeed, so we're very lucky. I mean, we get to work with blue chip companies like Bridgestone and now WD40. So big thank you to those guys for you know supporting the channel and we wouldn't be here without them, simple as that. So exactly Monday. thought it'd be a good opportunity to come down to Motorline uh, slash Barnstormer today. And yeah, we've got a long-term BMW here. Chris, you've filled that up a bit, haven't you? I have, yeah. To be fair, the roads are so dry, most of it's dust, but um, okay. yeah, it looks dirtier in real life yeah. than on that camera shot. Yeah. So we're gonna give her a bit of a clean. And um, we've got Spook, who he is our um, balloter for Motorline. So he prepares all of the bikes for sale. He's clean bikes year in, year out, and knows how to do it. Not a fancy, you know, not like a... Uh, detailer. Detailer yeah. that spends, you know, yeah. it's like proper, clean your bike, this is how it works, this is what to do, this is what not to do. So... Uh, and now is the time to expel the myths and learn how to wash your bike properly, but also, like, you say, like I said, expel some myths and... Um, Get it right. Spook, over to you. Hello. You got a bit, you're a bit sensitive about your heritage, aren't you? What, I used to do for a living? No, you're, you're northern. Northerners. Yeah. I'm proud to be northern. Yeah, that's good. But, you know, you lot down here, take the mick. Yeah, well you can always go back north. So yeah, so we've got a bit of, um, bit of a range here. Um, I think what, regardless of WD-40, whatever product you use, um, it's, it, you just got to use your brain, right? You have, yeah. Yeah, just be sensible. What you know? Don't use stuff that's chemicals on, on metals, on alloys. Read the instructions and do what it says on the tin. However, in the heat we've got at the minute, don't put stuff in and leave it and walk away. It says two to three minutes leaving it. Don't leave it for two to three minutes. It'll stick on the bike. You've got to start the whole process again, but it could damage the materials on your bike. Yeah. So a lot of it's just use your brain. Use your, your common sense. Okay. Common sense prevails. Keep it simple. Okay. Common well, sense prevails. There you go, son. Should Thank we, you. Do we, do we wet it down first? First thing we'll do, first and foremost, is wet the bike down. Okay. Using our jet wash. Okay, so there's a lot of people, we encounter a lot of people online going, oh, no, 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 never jet wash your bike, never jet wash your bike. Have you, have you ever caused or heard of any damage of a, using a jet wash on a motorcycle? Not whatsoever. As long as you're not blasting it directly on the burrings, anything that's been greased up prior, Obviously with our jet wash, it's an industrial jet wash we've got, but we just turn the pressure down and we're not directly forcing it against anywhere on the bike, we're just making the bike nice and wet. Yeah. Obviously at home, the hose pipe or using a two bucket system, want to wet the bike and I want to wash the bike. Yeah, so just basically, again, be sensible, be don't sensible stick it in the dash yeah. or down the keyhole. Yeah, electrics, keep away from electrics. Okay. Especially not my Ducati. And this is it. heated one as well, isn't it? It is, yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh, oh. So there we go, one wet bike. Yeah. And obviously, it's, you're going to get, you don't have to put it on a paddock stand, but again, you're going to get a better job. It's easier to clean the wheels. You have to keep moving it, rolling it yeah. forward. And so this one, obviously, it says it leaves it, leave it for a couple of minutes. In this heat today, we'll get it on there. We'll start sponging straight away. Right, okay. And are the gloves a necessity, Spook? No, it's just because I'm using chemical, using the stuff all day long. And otherwise, just, you'll just get nasty just, little dry, just cracked, get dry hands, yeah. Cracked hands. And straight away now, you can use sponges. All these different stuff. And you what can is use. what type of sponges? This, this is then? just the normal insect sponges. Right. Okay. Um, you can buy from all main um, yeah, yeah, yeah. suppliers. You can use the thing with this. Uh, a sponge, you'll get dirt sitting on the sponge. Right. And then you end up scratching your bike. Yeah. And you can always see the swirls when you finish waxing it. Yeah, yeah. The swirl treatment, that's when then detailing comes into it. Right, okay. Getting someone to cut, you know, cut your bike back or yeah, your, your yeah, car yeah. back. But on this, it should be fine on these okay. now. Or you could just, or you could use a microfiber cloth if you, you want. You could use a cloth, yeah. 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 Just keep wringing it out. It doesn't have to be a sponge. No. This type of material we're using, uh, the, the, the fluid, it's not damaging to brakes, no. anything like that. You can just be pretty liberal with it. Yeah. And just get right in there and just keep rinsing your um, sponge out. We've got three or four in the go at the time yeah. in there. And do you, do you tend to go, like, is, do you have a system? Do you go like top down or generally? Front to back, I go. Front to generally, back. Generally go front to back, yeah. But again, use your common sense. If you've just yeah. gone through a big mucky bit, 
rinse the sponge out, I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're doing, you know, you've been off-roading, try and get as much of the dirt off as you can with the, the jet wash or your hose. Any stubborn areas going to remember then a snuff a soft nylon brush. Yeah. Uh, and probably just keep you know keep rinsing uh, if you've been off-roading with the nice weather we've got at the minute. You might have gone through the odd puddle, a bit yeah. of dirt. But you'll probably find that a lot of the the um, dirt will come off initially with you with a you know a cheap just with cap, the jet wash, jet wash uh, maybe loosen it up with a hose. Yeah, we'll do another video next week and then. Uh... How's that your car? <laughs> yeah, how to clean a car. How to clean a car. Which is basically the same. You're same. a car man as well. You've got an old camper over there. Over there behind I you. am indeed, yeah. Yeah, what's it called? Bob. What we'll do in a minute, we'll get a bit of degrease so you see where we've got. Um, yeah, because all this chain fling and. Yeah. So and we, you, you would just, we'd just, you just degrease that and then yeah. would you use a different cloth on that just because it's. Just use a completely different cloth. Yeah. Something we can throw away. But the degreaser will strip it all off. And all of this sort of And all this, fling. and just by using a bit of water with a degreaser on it, rotating the wheel, and just a bit of elbow grease, we'll get rid yeah. of all this. Okay, cool. And then we can clean it all up at the end. And the carbon wheel, is, do, would you treat it any differently to a normal wheel? Nah, I just treat it like a wheel. To be fair, I used to just spray, it wasn't even clean, I used to clean it with WD-40, the actual lubricant, just wipe it down, yeah, get the I mean, grease off it. What I found with, uh, with the bikes I've had over the years is once I've cleaned them, you spray just the old WD-40 into a cloth, yeah, and then just wipe it round the wheel, keeping away from any brake surfaces. Yeah, and then when you're braking, the dust will lie, the carbon dust will lie on that little film of that yeah. WD-40. Yeah, you can just wipe it off. When you come home from your ride, it takes 30 seconds. Yeah, to spin your wheel and you keep your wheels clean. And because of the heat, if any point that you think the bike's drying out, just give it another wet down again. Yeah, and it is blisteringly hot today. It is. You can see the beads of sweat on my forehead. I just had a twister. I didn't get one. So it's a bit like water is the friend, right? That's the, yeah. that's the lubricant. It is, you yeah. Don't want, you don't want to do anything without lubrication, because otherwise it's just going yeah, to scratch. Yeah, you don't want to go in dry, no. Never go in dry. Never go. Well, so if you really just fisted it dry, you'd really cause some issues, you? would, you? yes, yeah. yes. I never bother with the rear of my number plate, because I just think, oh, bastard, I don't want to get my sponge dirty. You get a lot of fling in the back of the old... Foreskin. Stand. Yeah, I'm freezing here. Let yeah. me put this WD-40 hat on. <laughs> I actually quite like cleaning stuff. Do you get satisfied from cleaning? Oh yeah, I mean, bikes, cars, um, my boots when I was in the army. But actually, you know, I got satisfaction out of cleaning stuff and seeing the end product. So with that grease on there now, you can use chain cleaner. And I've got some uh, fast acting degreaser. Yeah, that's the scuzzy bit that I really yeah. dislike. Just leave that couple of seconds. And I'll throw these sponges away when I've finished. Yeah. It's got an old bit of Scotch Bright. Right, yeah. And you've got little bits of, even though with this it's quite a new bike, there's still bits of rust appearing on the chain already. Yeah. It's not going to damage it because it's, really, it's a knackered bit of Scotch Bright. Yeah. I can, see that I can see that going already. Wow. Just agitate the, 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 uh, the chain. I think what people forget as well, the chain's got a few sides to it. Not just a bit you can see. Yeah. So the front yeah. will be look beautiful, be gleaming at the front. Then the back it'll be about three inches wide, full of you know, full of old rubbish and and wax. It's just a knackered piece of, of, of Scotch Bright. Now some of the technicians have been using it for something. They'll throw it towards. Yeah. Recycle, recycle. Yeah, well it's important these days. It, it? is, yes. What I'll do, I'll change this water. Give it a wet down again so it's not sitting on there and baking heat. Oh. Standing in the midst of that is lovely, isn't it? Pretty glorious. Let's have a quick walk round now, see if you've missed, missed anywhere. I'm really. You it, it, we should be cleaning it under cover, I would suppose. That's probably going to make it easier, isn't it? Because the heat dries yeah, the so water hot so quick. Yeah. The next thing is we'll give it a last, last rinse. Yeah. And we'll dry it off. Now I've got the benefit here. I've got an ur line, an air line, as you say down south. <laughs> an ur line. Ur line, yeah. Yeah. I've got a receding ur line. Have you? Don't get yeah. your ur cut then. We've got an ur line here, so it makes my life a lot easier. I know you've got people now that use these. 
gardening wind blowers. Right, that you blow okay. leaves around to blow, you know, people are... But you can just as easily use a microfiber, right? And just... You could easy as use a microfiber. All I tend to do with the microfiber itself, use hot water. Yeah. So the, so the, the, the fiber's hot when you're wiping the bike down. For some reason it attracts, it soaks up more water than it being a, a wet, right, okay. cold yeah. cloth. And obviously keep rinsing that out because any bits of dirt that are still left yeah, on the yeah, bike, yeah, yeah, you'll end yeah. up scratching the bike. But we use this. And again, you've Magic got to machine. use it again, a bit like a, 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 uh, the jet wash. Yeah. Because it is a powerful thing. Yeah, it's noisy. And a bit noisy. Yeah. And I would usually normally wear ear defense, health and safety at work. Of course. But yeah. I can't hear when you're speaking. No. It's <laughs> hard work, this. This is the fun bit now, isn't it? Well, I've just got a fine old chamois down now. And then we'll go around and check the bike and any bits we've missed. I've seen a couple of spots with a bit of grease still. Mm -hmm. So you can just use the degreaser on an old cloth, old t-shirt. Yeah. Apply it to it that way. We'll do that front wheel more when we uh, take it off. The paddock and just rotate it 180 again. Okay. So difficult in this heat though, isn't it? Because it just dries. Yeah, it's so quick. The chain's got well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here's a question. Do you prefer chain lube or chain wax? Sports bikes. And this time of year, I've been putting lube on the bikes. Okay. And then for adventurers, so all the bikes, the adventurers upstairs will have a wax on them. Yeah. Because potentially they're going to be doing more adventurous stuff, maybe. Like coming across a bit more water, etc. Because I guess wax is less flingy. Yeah, I mean, as long as you... It stays you know, on there longer. Well, as long as you, you, know, you put it on and then you do leave it for that bedding in period. Yeah. If you then put it on and go for a ride, it's going to fling off everywhere. It needs just a little bit right, And you should do it when you come back, right? So the chain's nice and hot. Yeah. Right here. Oh, bolt missing. Yeah. And that, and to, uh, but that's another good point about washing a bike is you'll get to know. You, yeah. You'll, de you'll, you'll be able to go. Oh, hang on. That, Where's that? You can assess it and go. There's something missing here. Or that's that's not right. Yeah, and also because because you, you know your own bike as well, so you'll know not. You know, if you have got a jet wash, the place that you can't even jet go near your bike, you might have something that you pride in enjoying that for 20 years and know that all the the engine casing is just deteriorated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know you, you know where to be careful. You know, and certain bikes will rattle themselves. You know, to death, won't they? Yeah. No names, no patrol. <laughs> so that's the old dried off now and shammed off. Now is the bit where you make it look gleaming. Yeah. Or more gleaming. I mean, there's obviously difficult, you know, really, you, we should whip this off. Whip, whip it off. And, and get in there. Yeah. But it's, you know, again. The only drama I found with modern bikes now with these TFT screens. Yeah. Oh, they, do, they get sticky, don't they? They get certain spots. I think some people initially think when they buy them, they are touch sensitive like an iPad. Right. Or the devices. What is it? They're greasy. And you got fingerprints on, on them. And they're yeah. a pain to clean. Now, when I've found. The only way I've found to be able to get them, all the smudge marks off them is with a wet sponge yeah. and the airline and right, really okay. blow the water off because it'll just leave streaks on it. Right, okay. Um, They're like old and laptop screens, aren't they? They are, yeah. <laughs> so that's a damp cloth. Yeah, damp cloth, and then it makes things a bit easy with the airline. Absolute pain. Need to shine her up. In fact, before we do that, we'll put some chain. Do you prefer lube or wax, sir? I would prefer lube, lube. I think. <laughs> Who wants the wax? Wax is too grippy. One of your old t-shirts here. Oh, it's nice. That's too small for me. I've ripped it up. <laughs> oh, this is just to stop you spraying lube all over the place again. A lot easier with the paddock stand. On the bottom, as it goes round, and obviously that side a bit of top. Oh, this is just a silicon shine. Now, um, I love this stuff because it just makes black pop. Yeah. And then some people say, no, I like it to look natural. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I mean, particularly on older bikes, again, this is pretty new material. It's pretty new. It's not going to, it's not going to, you know, affect that. But if you've no. got a five, six-year-old bike, yeah. your car, even, you know, where the trim With starts The bumpers. Going. And there's certain things you can do. You can use an air dryer, a hair dryer, air, air dryer to bring it to get it warm again. It releases the oils in the plastic. You probably get someone that says oh, you can use a banana skin or something. There's all sorts of stuff. You can buy yeah. stuff off the tinter web that will miraculously turn your grey plastics black. Yeah. However, it's just maintaining it, stop it getting to that position when it goes grey. Yeah. And uh, yeah. trying obviously the sun that causes the most damage. Yeah. It's just richer, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, and it's just another layer of protection on, on your plastics. Again, like you said before about WD-40 on your wheel. Yeah. Just another layer of plastic that if you've been out for a nice summer ride yeah. and it's just dusty when you get back, there's nothing wrong with wiping off the brake dust that's been mm -hmm. caused on your bike. Getting off, get, using a bit of degreaser on a cloth that we've used before, just get rid of some blotches of grease that I might have flung up. Yeah. You've not got to spend then two hours, an hour and a half cleaning your bike, and you should be going inside for your tea. 
Oh, I do like tea. Tea. Again, just be careful where you are applying, as you said before, Chris, about seats. Yes. Know, um, I mean, that seat itself is a, quite, is a textured deep seat, so it's probably gonna make, not going to make much difference. But particularly an older, yeah. you know, you've got an old ZX7R or something, you don't want to get that stuff anywhere no. near it because you will never get it off and uh, you'll slip off. Yeah. Well, you'll slip with off, these it's now, just uncomfortable. Isn't it? Obviously, these have got now, you know, a lot of plastic um, panel work on them, yeah. you know, bare plastic. It's, you know, it's up to you whether you want to put something on it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's black, it's plastic, why not get some on there? Yeah. And I presume that would help with rain water runoff and stuff as well. Yeah, there'd be some sort of wax in it. Yeah. You know, not that they should be riding in the rain. No, not these days. Not these not, days. It's isn't. way beyond me now. And obviously, you've got all your hoses, you can spray it on. Just put, make your hoses come up. Because generally, they go a bit white. Even from factory, they're a bit white. Nice. Mirrors? And then finally, the mirrors. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, mate. I need to jump ahead of you there. And that's okay on like rubber boots as well. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. And switch gear, I guess you could put it on there, but you, it, it's, it yeah. gets quite glossy, doesn't it? it? Does, so you yeah. probably don't want to. You know, the cloth that you've been using, probably give it a wipe over, as long as your cloth's not ancient. There's a bit of obviously of silicon spray on this yeah. still, but be really careful, especially around here, I said with that screen before. Yeah, it's going to spray on, on that, that and it'll yeah, get on yeah, there, yeah. and you'll be looking at it. So I think, yeah, well, you just ignore, just, just yeah. yeah, and this is particularly bad. So all I've got now is just a wet sponge, an applicator sponge. A wet sponge, I just find it a bit easier. That's my own personal preference with a wet sponge. Okay. Not, you know, we've got as much of the moisture out as we can. Damp. Mildly moist. A moist sponge. Moist, yeah. Okay. Slightly damp. Soft sponge. Soft. And because I'm using the sponge to apply it, I might as well spray this, the wax onto the sponge. Yeah. It's easier than spraying no it. No overspray, going yeah. Going everywhere again. Now, with it being so hot, I'll probably only do a panel at a time here. It's drying so quick, it's unreal. Yeah. Ideally, I've just said It does make a difference, though. I can see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been waiting for you to do that bit. <laughs> Slightly you're, arousing. You're a fender. Wow, she looks mint. There we go. Right, we'll do the front wheel and then have a bit of a roundup. When we're doing the bikes here, we generally wash them where we've just washed this and we move them across the way. Uh, bring them up to temperature a little bit. Yeah. So you run, give it a shake, you know, to move the bike around it because there'll be all these little hidden pockets of, of water. Yeah. You spent, you know, a bit of time cleaning it. You've got to put it back in your garage or in your living room and then... Uh... Well, yeah, especially radiator fins are a classic example <laughs> yeah. of that. The amount of water that, if you use that airline, airline, airline in a radiator, the it's water unreal. that comes out of it, it's like, whoa. It's unreal, yeah. And then exhausts and stuff. I know there's all sorts of weird finishes on exhaust these days with a titanium sleeved, aluminium sleeve. Just be careful, obviously, because again, and if you've got like a polished swing arm, that is where any um, dodgy material that you put yeah. on there is going to eat it for breakfast. Yeah, if you've got one of these, you know, an old bandit where you've uh, blinged up your swinging arm. Yeah. It'll well, even, the, like even the double R's. The, even the double R on some of them, yeah, with yeah. that little polish bit. Yeah. You've got to be so careful with them. Yeah. I think with exhaust systems now, with the materials they've got, uh, there are, you can get a bit of a, dilute, a, a diluted acid with a warm exhaust system. Yeah. Not scorching up, but just so the, the heat has gone through and it's warm to touch. Yeah. And, we, and you can spray a bit of diluted acid on them and you'll, you'll watch the, the orange tinge. Okay. It'll just disappear. Should we try that? You want to give it a go? Yeah. Want to bring it up to temperature? Have you got the key? Uh, what sort of temperature that'll do you do want? Now, that'll do. So all this is just a bit of diluted acid, uh, not... What type of acid? Don't it's know. just a, a cheap acid that um, we can get hold of from, our okay. from the suppliers. Yeah. And we've just watered it right down. It's ideal on stubborn areas and then with the exhaust system. So it's now slightly warm to temperature now. Yeah. You see, it's just changing colour now. It's just getting rid of all that. Oh, yeah. Warmer, but obviously, it's obviously going to be warmer, yeah, 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 more towards the engine. But you can see what's going already as it's cooling down. Wow, and then just with that, then ideally, you'd want to do this process at the start because you know it's only diluted acid, but there's a bit on there. We'll just, we'll just wash it off in a minute with a sponge, yeah. sponge and water. And that's just where it's super hot at the moment, so. yeah, because it's really hot. So, that can you see that on camera, Sam? Yeah, the difference in there that's amazing. 
what you will get on, on, on the new RI, you get a lot of people with uh, the boots are melting or the yeah. catching it with the foot. Yeah, you know, yeah, your, yeah. Where you position your feet. This will get it off. Um, just don't get the thing, you know, scorching hot. You can see it's just, it's just yes, bringing it back up there. Yeah. You can see the difference already as it's cooling down now. Yeah. And as that cools more, we can do the whole system. That's amazing. And that's just a bit of diluted sulfur. I can get the, uh, the full name of the, uh, the acid. Wow. Obviously, be careful. Don't breathe in the gases. Yeah, still get a professional to do this, obviously. Yeah. Well, that's we have to say that for a legal perspective. That's that. That's genuinely, that's the best thing I've seen all day. That's still a little bit too warm at the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, as it cools down, but that, you, I mean, that's the perfect. It. I mean, you it's good that it's there, because the that's transition. the difference, right? Yeah. And you do that on the front, the, the, all you the headers do, yeah. all the way up if you Ideally, wanted to. maybe, you know, don't do it all every time you clean your bike. No. As you start to see it going off in colour again, put it back on. Incredible. I, do, I generally do that at the start. I bring it into the washing bay, get it warm, and as it's cooling down, wet the bike. Yeah. Then apply that treatment, just to do that to the exhaust. Some of the exhaust, it's, it's gone beyond all belief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we know that you know things get onto the exhaust. Yeah. You might have driven through a plastic bag and been known to you, and it's yeah, melted, melted onto, onto it. Your, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, there you go. Wow. Well, we hope you've learned something new. Um, and enjoyed watching us clean this beautiful machine. Well, I haven't cleaned anything, quite frankly, but uh, set with a nice cheers, cream, buddy. Didn't you? Well, can we can we COVID it? There you go. Is that is that even allowed? No, it's a meter and a half now, isn't it? Was it? Oh, that's all. Fourth. Al's around here somewhere, lounging around doing nothing. He's over there. Yeah. <laughs>